Slat, what were you like when you were a little a little boy? Were you were you as as insane and uh, unhinged as you are today? Or no. However, I got more and more unhinged. the The more time that went on, I got worse. Yeah. What yeah. do you think caused you to to go down that road? Alcohol. Oh. Yeah. Oh. At yeah. How old? From the womb, actually, I was being fed it. <laughs> and then at school, I would, you know, they had those little hand sanitizers up against the wall. Uh -huh. Where you can get some, clean your hands up a little bit. I'll just uh -huh. eat it. I just. It's got to start somewhere, too, because 90% oh. of the people listening to this podcast right now, I can guarantee were the kids that when you had a chance, <laughs> when you had, when you. <laughs> Wow. Okay. So, like, really addicted. Yeah. I was going to say 90% of the kids are. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another illustrious episode of Chuckle Sandwich. We are here once again to bless or curse your ears. Hi, everybody. It's me, Schlatt, back with another episode of Chuckle Sandwich with my co-host, Ted. Hello. It is I. We were asking you guys what you wanted us to talk about when we had these episodes that are just Schlatt and I and then Tucker hanging out in the banisters of the ceiling, crawling around like a spider. Um, <laughs> and by the way, all the Tucker haters out there. Fuck, Fuck you. you! Fuck you! Um, and one of the things that you guys said was that you really wanted us to do a classic in the YouTube meta, a tier list, ladies and germs. Honestly, it's the best form of YouTube content. It's too easy because YouTube thrives off of interaction and people being upset. It's like when social media purposely show you things that make you upset, Ted. You know how they do that? Mm -hmm. Because then you'll spend more time interacting with the post and writing out angry comments so you can serve you more ads on the side. It's genius. Exactly. It's become, it's how I became an Andrew Tate stan. Yeah, exactly. What? Hmm? Anyways, um, so what we're going to do today, guys, is we've got a tier list right here for our audio listeners. You're just going to have to believe what we're saying is what we're actually doing. But we've got a tier list here on the classic tier list website. We've got a bunch of the classic childhood TV shows that we watched when we were growing up. Uh, we got everything from S to F. We got S, A, B, C, D, and F. And mm -hmm. we are going to be rating these TV shows that we watched when we were little youngins uh, going around sniffing, huffing. Huffing glue, uh, huffing Purell. Did you yeah. do the thing where you, you'd spray glue on your hands and then you'd let it dry and you peel it off? Yes, yes. Yeah. That was the first, you know, it was the hand mask. It was the yeah. beginning yeah. of uh, beginning of our skincare journeys, except mm. that we never continued. No, um, no. I don't even do conditioner. I just shampoo every day. That's what I do. Really? Yeah. You don't? Is this is this true? Yeah. Huh. Well, your locks would be luscious if you added a little condition. My locks Come are on. luscious. My locks are luscious already. You're right. <laughs> well, th okay, think about this. Get to God level lush. I don't need more lush. I don't need more gush. I don't need more more swush. Nothing. My hair's perfect, Ted. Well, what's right, what's then... the problem if you had like a little bit more? Do you think it would be too? I powerful? don't want to buy extra conditioner. Like I, I'm I'm a very efficient person. I tend to cut through to exactly what I need, and shampoo gets the job done for me. Yeah, that's what well, I think. All right, fine, fine. But I'm pissed. Yeah. Um, okay, so so I, you. I mean, did you watch you? So what was your main show, like TV channel that you watched? Or I was a Cartoon even, Network guy back in the day. I was a cartoon. Really? I was a, I was a cartoon head. You know, anytime I'd go uh, stay at my grandma's when I was sick from school, I'd always go there. Uh, I'd eat out of the uh, uh, the uh, Looney Tunes cereal bowl. I'd have cereal in there, and then I'd sip apple juice or OJ out of my Tom and Jerry glass. And I watched the Monday uh, the the weekday cartoons on Cartoon Network. Hell yeah! Did you ever have one of those bowls? when you were younger that were they they were kind of like i don't know they were they were shaped really weird but the main pull of them is that they had a straw in it that you could drink the milk you know what i'm talking about no it's no no 
No, am I crazy? Okay, someone you out might there be crazy. I, I've never like, heard of that. I did, well, however, do the cereal straws. You know the yeah. the fruity loop, the fruity mm-hmm. loop straws with like oh, the little man. milk icing in the middle. You sip the milk out of them, oh, fuck. Yeah, dude. Dude, and and when the, and it was like when they came out with those, it was like they had invented like yeah, it was like the invention of sliced bread all over mm-hmm. again, except it was a cereal straw. Yeah, no, that 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 fucking probably rocked my world more so than it should have. Speaking speaking of which, in in the same vein of TV shows, do you remember when you first? Did you always have cable as long as you remember? Do you remember the day that you got you guys no, got I, cable? I had cable. Oh, I had okay. cable. Yeah. Okay. Oh, all <laughs> all right. a, I don't have cable now. I mean, is that is that the follow up question? Well, I mean, back then it was you needed to have cable. Like it wasn't yeah. like you had fucking Netflix and shit. Exactly. Back, back in the day, it was like Netflix was. My parents would get a delivery in the mail, and it would be a CD, <laughs> and that was Netflix. <laughs> yeah, and I had GameFly. You know, they'd send you a game in the you mail. You used it GameFly. Back. Yeah, use GameFly. I remember the commercials, but I remember not using GameFly specifically because I was like, I'd want to keep the games. You know, I wouldn't. I was there the one that, customer. <laughs> yeah, you probably were. You were the one thing that was keeping them afloat before they just mm-hmm. before they just went under. Um, no, I re- I remember. I think it was like it was. In, I remember it was like in April of whatever year it happened. For some reason, I remember it was in April that we got cable because I initially all we had was I think we had like eighteen channels or like twenty channels or something like that when uh-huh. I was young. And then when we got cable, it was like holy fuck, we dude! Once they started going past a hundred, you remember that? When you go to like a cha- channel 123 and it was like Cartoon Network 2, yeah. it's like, pff, holy shit. But the, but the only channels that mattered, as far as I can remember, is I believe 25 and 26. Ooh. I believe those were Nickelodeon and Disney Channel, respectively. And then Ooh. channel 60, which was Cartoon Network, and 61, which was Boomerang. No, no. I don't no, know. I do. No. I just. I simply do not remember it like that. Yeah, it was like you know. It was. A, it's a very specific memory. But um, whatever the case, we have a lot of childhood mm. TV shows to go mm. through right now. Um, <laughs> and you know, I think there's a chance that things might get a little heated. I think there might be. I think there might be. I. I. I tend to be a little bit opinionated with things ted really and so really? yeah well sometimes i say what you know i got a lot of opinions people don't like right right and yeah. so, so and i'm not afraid to share any of them you know i agree <laughs> I so agree. you're not we'll go through this list all, <laughs> we'll go through this list and uh and i'll i'll share my egregious opinions on most of them uh spoiler okay. i don't like most of the live action shit i'm a cartoon head like i said All right. Okay. So as we've said, we've got the tier list that is S through F and we need to, I suppose we should just, I guess we could just start from the the upper left. And what we've got for the first one is the original Scooby Doo. One of the best ones out there, dude. One of the best ones out there. Bar none. This one's a lot of nostalgia for me. This one, like when I was a kid, it was I can hear the, and we're talking, we're not talking about, because there's a lot of iterations of Scooby-Doo, yeah. as far as I know. There's like 25 different movies. I mean, I really yep. like the one where they, <clears throat> there was, there was actually, there was one where they did like a collaboration with Kiss, the band, Kiss? the rock band. What yeah. The fuck? Have you not seen this before? It no, was like. My, the only Scooby-Doo movie I know is the one where they travel through time and that blue electric lightning bolt follows them through like video game worlds and time travel. I think I know what you're talking about. I don't know what yeah. specific movie that is, but I definitely know what you're talking about. What was the yeah, one they, with Kiss? It was uh, it was a cartoon movie, and they had um, it was like a, a mystery they had to solve that involved the band Kiss, like the one you know the guys that stick their tongues out <laughs> and they got the fucking yeah. face paint. And there was like a whole thing where there was like a theme park that they had to go to that was about Kiss. Like the entire theme park was around the band, the metal band. Or rock That's band. So Kiss. weird. It That's was. So it was weird. like. I don't know how it happened. I don't know if it was like some crazy Scooby Doo brand deal with Kiss. I like. I don't yeah. know who's. <laughs> like. I don't know who's getting more of an advantage from doing that. <laughs> that that was an integration. That was an integration. Yeah. yeah. No. That was. A, that was an hour long. Hour long. Fully integrate. Full integration. Yeah. Um. 
Classic, but, though. It was either Tom and Jerry or Scooby-Doo when the morning cartoons came on. Mm-hmm. And I was a fan of both of them. I think the same thing goes with, with Tom and Jerry. I think the later iteration of the show, as it went on and as it you know evolved, it kind of just got, got worse and fell off. So Scooby-Doo, yeah. I mean, at least A. At least an A. I think at least A, but I do want to mention an important aspect here that we need uh-huh. to keep into account is the, you know, this is the original Scooby-Doo. We're talking Hanna-Barbera Animation Studio. Yeah. Here, where there is a lot of cut corners that they made in the animation of this. Of this, So do we do we want to keep that? At, like, do we want to consider that? Is that? I don't care about the fucking animation. You don't? I, I care about the show. I know. I mean, you like, can go the other way and say that, that the new SpongeBob looks like fucking jello pieces walking around with like Adobe fair. Flash player tweening and shit. Like they don't, there's nothing going on there either. Right. All right. Well, okay, fine. You know, I probably have to agree with you on the, on the A. Yeah. On the A tier. I, Cause I, it's like, it's so strong. It's so strong with the nostalgia that it's like almost hard to, hard to yeah. deny. Yeah. That's, you know what? I'd say that's pretty cut and fucking dry baby. cut and dry baby cut, cut and dry and dry like a like a piece of of beef jerky that that you eat when all of your power is out in texas and that's the only yeah. thing that you have for food yeah no no yeah no thanks for dredging up those terrible terrible memories of people dying and me almost freezing to death in my house okay well i was, I was talking about town. you i wasn't talking about the people dying hold on thanks man <laughs> so hey what's um, this next show zoe uh, 101 yeah, no, we got Zoe 101. I don't, here's the thing. I, I don't know. What do you think about Zoe 101? I want to, what do you think about Zoe 101? Okay, fine. Pull my <laughs> leg. Um, I didn't really watch it that much, but I've actually driven, I've driven past the place that they filmed it. It was at this Malibu, Malibu like oh. college. It was a college yeah. in Malibu. I forget what it was called. It was um, a cool campus. It was. No, that campus had no right. To be as nice as it was, that was a high school. It was supposed yeah. to be like a like Fuck a that. sleep like a sleepaway high school. Same shit with Victorious. Like no high schools are like that. Like fuck off with that. Unrealistic. And honestly, the only time I ever watched Zoe One Hundred and One is when it was on and someone else had the remote. So not my favorite show by any means. D or F. Dude. Yeah. 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 I think so. It's got. I wouldn't. Be t- that's a girl's show. It's a girl show. That's I'll a say girl it. show. That's I'll a show it. for girls. It's a show for girls. It's a show for girls. And if I watch it, that means that I'm like a loser that You're, watches girl yeah. stuff. You're like a fucking pussy, dude, if you watch Zoe 101. Yeah, pussy bitch. However, Ted, oh, the next one on this list is Jesus. making me a little jazzed. I'm, I'm getting a little... I'm goosing to answer You're this one. You're goosing for it? I'm oh, goosing for this man, one. man. I'm so glad you can. So the next one that we have is... is Chowder. Chowder. <laughs> Very chowder. popular Cartoon Network Fucking show. Fucking love Chowder. Uh, about a little rat, fat rat. I don't what is he? I don't know. He he's chowder, what, what, dude. He's chowder. It's just a it's just a, it's just a funny little place where all the scrimbos are around and they're named after foods. That's a really good way to put them. They are scrimbos, aren't they? Yeah, they're, they're scrimbos. Freaks. Yeah. My favorite character from Chowder was was Schnitzel schnitzel yeah it was schnitzel honestly you know you want to know something rawr, rawr, rawr. i get that i un- i understand where you're coming from schnitzel but my favorite character as time has gone on is mong doll it's like tom it's like when you watch tom and jerry and you're always like rooting for for jerry was, but then you realize like the, tom was t- he was the the dad he was the head chef. yeah he was, yeah, the he was head a head chef, chef. Guy. yeah yeah and you realize like uh tom is fucking he just wants to live like he's yeah. a good guy deep down. And so is Mung Dahl. Honestly, dude, some of the most unique episode concepts. They did a bit one time R- where they, they pretended the that. Wall? Yeah, when they pretended that the studio ran out of budget for the episode and the rest yeah. of the episode was them washing cars and shit to get the budget up. <laughs> <laughs> the art style is is like. Uh, it, it's the most unique cartoon style I've ever seen. The yeah. way that they kind of have the static images in the back, and then their clothes are like whatever's texture just kind of moves around. Right. But the image it's like behind it says static. Oh man. It's like they're green screened on, or like they have, yeah. or, or, yeah. or like all of the characters just wore green articles yeah. of clothing that they they <laughs> fixed in post or something. Great yeah, show, no, great concepts, great voice acting, great art. This is this is an easy yes for me. 
Really? Yeah. Easy S. Easy S for me. This is one of my favorite cartoons of all time. Hmm. Fuck you. Fuck you. Put it at S. Hmm. Fuck you. Put it at S right now. Put it at S. Hold on. Hold on. I have something else I want to say before we move. We, we, we make this final decision that is not even totally related to the rating, even though you're crossing your arms and looking a word that I'm going to invent right now that is a new word I just thought of on the spot that people are going to love. Everyone's going to start saying this. You are looking grum right grum? now. You're looking grum. Dude, you just, you just took... Grum is the creator of Minecraft. I don't know. Grum is the grum. creator? Yeah. I don't understand this. Grum is the, yeah, not notch. No, grum. Grum is grum a word? I I swear I just invented Grum's a, a guy. New... Grum's a guy. He worked on Minecraft. Grum is a okay. I mean, so you're you're arguing it's a proper noun, and that I yes. can't I can't turn yes. it into a word. No. Well, you no. could name it. You could name someone anything. And as far as I is so is this is like a Swedish guy? Grum. This name is is literally grum. <laughs> like it's not like a username. Grum. I feel like no, dude. I feel like you're making this up because no, you're doing I'm the because you're, no, you're doing the thing. You're doing no, the I'm thing. Not. No, because I know you know why. Because you're doing the thing where you're not like expanding upon it. You're just repeating the thing that you originally said. Grum. So, like yeah. Okay. G R U M M. So, <laughs> Grum. It's like you, you get into this fugue state where it's like the only word you suddenly remember how to say hey, is the is the word you, you're trying to. What are you putting chatter at? I want. This word to be real because I feel oh like my it's god. a really good one. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Come on, Grum! It's all like, right. How about this? I I'll, I will accept Grum. Sentence? I will accept Grum into my vocabulary if you put chatter at us. Fucking deal, dude. That's a fucking easy cool. deal. Because I would have been crap. Grum if you didn't. I would have been Grum. We've if got if so many more to go us. through, and you, and you, yeah. and that's all it took. Oh, yeah. easy. All right. Chatter is S, and Schlatt is Grum. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, not put, it in the, put it in the history books, baby. Hey, Chucklers, today's podcast is sponsored by our friends at SeatGeek today. If you don't already know, SeatGeek is a ticketing app that makes buying and selling tickets to live events super simple. We've got the app on our phones, and it's by far the best way to buy tickets online. Another thing I like about SeatGeek that they're not asking me to say is that you can link up your favorite music listening apps to SeatGeek. And it's also how I found out that one of my favorite artists was performing in Los Angeles pretty soon. Sometimes you want to go to a concert for an artist you like listening to, but you don't necessarily rabidly keep up with their social medias. So it's nice to be able to see in one app what artists you have that you're listening to are coming to your area. It's a pretty cool thing. That's all I'm saying. With concerts in full swing, the NFL season starting up, touchdown baby, and the MLB playoffs right around the corner. Boom! That's a home run. Uh, there's an event for everyone, and you're not going to want to miss out. SeatGeek wants to make sure you're getting a good deal. So when you're on the app, look for the green dots. Green means good deal. Red means bad. Caveman talk. Everybody gets it. And don't you fret, Chucklers, because we've got a good deal for you today. Use code CHUCKLE for $20 off tickets at Seeky. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code CHUCKLE. And look, if you are already planning on going to a concert, you might as well be a fucking awesome audio listener and go to the description and click the link. You help out the podcast. You help yourself out with the $20 off and you discover a good app, Seeky, which I already use. It's a good app. You might as well. We love you to death. Now let's get back to the episode. Now we've got another one that is, you know, this one is yeah, this one sort of a yeah. defines a generation. Mm. Really? Mm. We've got Drake and Josh. <sighs> yeah. So remember what I said about me not being a big fan of the uh, live action shows? I do. Yeah. You're not a fan? So what's your what's your initial what's your initial placement here gonna be? B tops. I mean, B, for the live wow. action ones, it was good. Okay, definitely one of the better live action ones. But I just was not interested in them back in the day. Not as interested as I was in in other shows. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's a fair point. I think I was definitely also a kid that focused more on the cartoons yeah. than the than the shows themselves but i did end up watching them a lot and part of me feels like the theme song of drake and josh might almost exclusively pull it up a point a, a rant you think so 
it's a strong theme song. I, I'd say I, I Carly's is just as strong and like recognizable and nostalgic. Well, because it's also sung by Drake Bell. Drake Bell sung both of them? Wait, yeah. Drake Bell was the dude in the iCarly theme? Yeah, yeah. He what sung, the hell? He, he, he sung it. He he wrote it and sung it with, um, what's her fucking face? The, what's her actual name? Miranda Cosgrove. Miranda Cosgrove. God, that's wow. why, and that's why, we, that's why we have him here. That's why we yeah. have him here, Sly. That's crazy. Um, yeah. Because it was like, I think what the the whole story was, it was like, oh, Drake and Josh ends. And then it's like now, because that's how, how a lot of these like child t- child star TV shows worked was it was like someone would have a show for a while. And then like one of the younger people on the show, it's like they, you know, yeah, they produce, graduate into a show. Yeah, they graduate yeah. into their into their own show. Mm-hmm. Um, that's where Drake and Josh came from. Where they came from, Jerry the Aman- Trader they, came from. They came and, from the Amanda from- show. By the same. Oh, well, you're right. Yeah, the Amanda show is the first one. They play their same characters, basically. Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't actually. I think I was. I Carly was like was... the third generation of that thing, and then the fourth was Victorious. Sam, no, Sam and Cat. Oh Sam yeah, and, yeah. Well, Sam and Cat came from Victorious. No, it did. It. it the timeline uh, gets messy. It wait. does get messy. Oh it no, no. Messy. Wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Does that mean that means? Okay, whenever we got maybe they were going on at the same time. <laughs> well, no, Sam and Cat, Sam and Cat, Sam is from our Carly, our Carly show, yeah. and then Cat is from. Yes, it was like a hybrid universe show. It was. Oh, that it is was weird. fucked up. It was seriously fucked up. Drake and Josh B tops for me. Not not too uh, not too crazy on it. Yeah, I mean, I can't really remember too much from the series other than like Megan. And like, yeah, yeah, and like when right. they got stuck in the fucking treehouse, like those are really the only times yeah. things I remember. And so, when Drake fed his dad cum, uh, cumin instead of cinnamon, and he had a cumin allergy, yeah. And then Josh was like, "It says cumin," you know. <laughs> that was his main bit too. Was it was yeah. him just saying tightening his vocal loudly. cords and yeah. having a hernia and saying a word. To be fair, that's my bit too. So. That is- that i mean and and you're fucking good at it too yeah thank you now this um, next right. one this next one ted oh i really dude, i really dude dude you okay Fine, say your piece say your i piece. really i would put this is going to be this is the first time i'm really putting this into words so you got to bear with me but okay there's but also, a certain oh before you go can i just say say your piece but also be careful be careful what are you a big fan of codename kid kids next door I'm just, you know, say your piece. Just say your piece, man. And and then maybe I'll... Sure. So, there's an era of Cartoon Network cartoons that I can only describe as musty. Musty. And codename Kids Next Door and Ed, Ed, and Eddie and a couple more of them just kind of fall under it where if they would come on i would be like i just as a kid i was like something is weird and i don't like it i was not a code name kids next door kid at all it kind of scared me this is interesting because i would not place code name kid next door in the same category as like the mustiness of ed and i know what you're talking about when it comes to mustiness yeah but um, and, and, you know, I think that we might need to have Scott place this in, in editing. Cause we've already got this tier list set up and stuff, but I would say that mustiness of edit and Eddie also applies to a show that only had like one season and Tucker and I have actually talked about very recently, which was Mr. Meaty. Was that what it's called? I think you're right. Yeah. Yeah. The no, you were right. Show. The, it was yeah, with show. the at the burger shop. Yeah. And it was yeah. like. It was it was disgusting. Is it, what this, yeah, well, that was, was the only way you could describe the show. It was show disgusting. Was, yeah, I I I only have like hints, ghosts. Like when I think about watching the show, because I did watch it, but like the show just appears as like a ghostly kind of like just flashes of like just distaste in in whatever it was. It was just over the top. But when it comes to you know to refocus to, with kids next door. I loved Kids Next Door because okay. I felt like it was epic. I it, thought was it was a gearhead epic. show. It was like sick. Yeah. 
It the, did make and, you and feel it, cool to kind of like watch right. the hijinks a little bit. But mm-hmm. also, it, it just kind of, something about it, just like, I don't know if it was just that kid's fucking oblong head. But something about that being the main character with this weird glasses, I just couldn't relate <laughs> to it. He uh, was like the weirdest character in yeah. the whole situation he was <laughs> he should he, not have been he the was main character very, he was very freaky looking he was yeah. sort of like he wishes that he could be robin from teen titans oh that's a great way to put it because he you know he wears red he's got the fucking glasses on and he's the leader of the team yeah i mean it was that sort of same setup of like a team in its own but i thought there was a lot of things that were really cool about this show like you've got the fucking like candy pirates that were like freaky the candy yeah. pirates there was this whole thing about like the like the parents were like this is the big bad of, yep, of yep. like that it was just i don't know i thought it was just the world that they had made was really really cool and it like i don't know i feel like that was the first time i i enjoyed like the world building of a show if that you know that may sound a That's little fair. extreme but that's fair. I would put it at least an A, but because I know you have your reservations. But if I if I if you weren't in this call with me and I could do whatever I want, I would put a fucking S. I would be putting Damn, an S. Really? Yeah. Is it an S for you? Okay. Mm-hmm. And not all right, only all right. that, there was a you know how Cartoon Network had a bunch of flash games that you could play? Yeah. There was this one game that I played a shit ton of, and it was a codenames codename kids next door themed one that was um flight of the hamsters Mm. and it was like to flight of the valkyries but it was basically just you launch a hamster and see how far you can get it and it was just that was the game and it was really fun would you be okay with me putting this a are you gonna throw that's a tough that's a tough compromise because you want s and i want d so maybe we meet in the middle at a b how about this hmm I will pull down Drake and Josh to C if you let me put Kids Next Door at A. Okay, that's fair. That's a Boom. fair compromise. Boom. All right. Sorry, sorry, Josh and Drake. Yeah, fucking nerds. <laughs> yeah. All right. Next one: The Marvelous Misadventures of Flapjack. This Woo! show was weird. This very was weird. Weird show. Very weird. Probably the weirdest world world building in any cartoon ever. Yeah. Really, really strange show. So what's Very the odd. what's the fucking plot of this of this thing? They they live in a so, whale named Bubby. It's a child and an old creepy old man, and they have no relation to each other. His name's Captain alcoholic. Knuckles. He's an alcoholic. He's probably a predator. Let's be real, Ted. I mean, yeah, he Flapjack. Lives a, he lives in a whale with a kid. Flapjack is just like he's just so innocuous like he just does not notice anything that's going on like this was a bad situation situation. this is stockholm syndrome the cartoon is what this is very interesting world building and this the setting is very cool but i i can't even remember an episode i think the only episode i remember is that there was a whale the bubby was racing like some rich guy's steamboat that looked like a ocean animal or some shit right i don't even remember it though like i don't know the this show, there's a lot of problems. You're right. There's a lot of problems with this show. Problems. And it and like let's just let's like break it down. You know, let's break down the factors here. Mm. We've got a creepy dude, raspy voice. He's angry all the time. He's an alcoholic, and he wants to take this child, this child, riding on a whale to go find. A legendary mythical hasn't been proved oh, yeah. to exist. Dude, Candy Island. Island. <laughs> if I had to think of something that I wanted, like if, there, oh, if that's like that's like shit. par for the course for predators. He might as well be driving a white van. Candy Dude. Island. He went above oh, and beyond. I just fucking. I just he fucking went above and beyond, bro, bro. Bro, that that. Hey kid, you want a little? You want a little candy bar in yeah, my white yeah. van? Holy fuck. He could have gone he could have gone like, you know, lower level where he's just like, "Hey, you want one piece of candy, then kidnap him." This guy is promising this child an entire island of candy. That's crazy. That's irresponsible. Someone it's needs irresponsible. to t- keep an eye on them. Thankfully, Bubby was a good character. Bubby did take a watchful eye over Flapjack and keep him safe. 
Right. I would feel I would feel comfortable with this at a C, just because of how unique it was. But yeah, maybe it, the it was maybe unique. the predator shit brings it down to to D. Ah, C. I'm okay with C. Are uh, you? You're okay with C? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'd say I'd rate that a C. It was like a depressing world too. It was like yeah, just like. It was. It was very like, where bleak. Is his parents. I don't really yeah. remember what the end of the show was like either. It went on for a while. It's it one did. of those things where a lot of these shows, you know, I watched, but you know, I feel like more so these days, like I'll watch a show to completion, like even like animes that like I I watched all of Naruto and stuff like that. Mm. Um, but back then, these shows all had a lot of episodes. And I don't remember really knowing what the beginning and end of like the their I don't know arcs were. Um, so for all I know, Flapjack could be fucking dead in a ditch right now. Yeah, he could be. And they, I wouldn't be surprised. And we Candy Island might as well might have been like some just industrial Warehouse? factory. Yeah, yeah, like they put him to work as a chimney sweep or some God. shit. You know. <laughs> it's just one trafficking operation and that show leads right into <laughs> it leads right into the events of mary poppins and then you've got mm. mary poppins okay so that flapjack's a d we're realizing we're going through these really really slowly though so we got to speed up our decisions here we, we need okay we need hotter takes and less hotter context takes, ted hotter takes, less context, less context. Okay. yes yeah all right adventure time I was never a big fan. Maybe the first couple episodes kept me interested, mm -hmm. but I feel like it went on for so long and I didn't know what was going on with like Princess Bubblegum and there was a different princess who was a fucking cloud and yeah. I got him confused sometimes. I don't know why. There's a fire princess and a vampire who is... Jake the dog. Jake the dog was cool, but he yeah. was kind of a little bit cringe at times too. Yeah, he was. He was like, he was always like, Hey man, let's go uh doobity doop doop, man. You get on my scoop, you know? It was like that yeah. cert, you know, you know what I'll say about adventure time? Cert is very specific type of humor. You know what that humor is? What? Loser humor. Oh shit, you did not Loser just I, it wasn't humor. me who said it. Wasn't me who said it. Loser humor. Okay. Nope, if you like wasn't adventure me. time, you're a loser. All right. Adventure time, fucking C. All right. C is fair. C is fair for me. C is fair for me. We're going to, there, there's going to be, there is already fire in the comments right yeah. now. There is no, there fire is. in the comments. There, Ed, it's Ed just going to get worse, too. It's Ed, Ed, and Eddie, too. like, I was depressed with those children's existence. Like, they were, <laughs> like, they, 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 it was upsetting to watch them try every time a new yeah. scheme to get just a piece of fucking candy, just mm -hmm. a jawbreaker. Yeah. That's all they wanted. It's and they weird. just couldn't figure out a way to make money. They were so sleazy. Like that is a this is a classic example of Cartoon Network must. Like yeah. it is just musty and dusty and gross. And I watched that show and I was like, Ugh. I like it, it. It feels like there were it was like a decomposing carcass with flies and maggots on it. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. That's that's just how I feel. If you're upset no, at that, I, I you think know? you know your 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 feelings are valid, and you know. We're not even going to look at the comments of no, this episode. No, we're not. We're so not we're watching gonna... this. And they hit the dislike button, so you guys can go fuck yourselves. We and also, my favorite character was the kid with the piece of wood. That was the that was the person with the most depth in the entire show. Oh, true that. Yeah, Jimmy Are and Plank. To say? It was Johnny and his two by four Plank. Oh, Johnny and Plank. Yeah, dude. Yeah, honestly, Johnny. He was sort of. Oh, and that kid with the braces. Yeah, man. That they like. They would. They, they, they would absolutely abuse. They like grab them by the fucking wire and swing them yeah, around. It wasn't cool. It wasn't, it cool. wasn't cool. Those and three that, were not a good bunch. And for that, our first F. Oof. Shit. Oh, yeah. You know what? No, you're right. No, you're right. Jimmy Neutron is the next one. What do we think? Uh, I kind of related with Jimmy back in the day. I was a bit of a nerd, a bit of a gearhead. I would have loved a robot dog. Goddard was just fucking sick. The mom was scary. The dad was lame. Uh, and Jimmy made do as best he could. He did. He made do as best he could. The He's a fucking nerd, though. Like, I was would, a I would... chicken. Weird focus on what? chickens in that show. Oh, and yeah, the teacher, you're right. You know, the teacher was, like, was it? Yeah, she would, like, right. make, like, chicken noises in between. Like, her um yeah. was a baka. Like, she yeah, would do right. that. Her name was, was Miss Fowl, too. 
As in, oh, like, Miss Foul. Foul. Oh, oh well, that's, God. Well, she was foul. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, it's fucked up. It's a little strange. Baba Booey. Baba Booey. <sighs> but what Jimmy may do. And, and, you know, there were some good moments. And the movie was good, too. The one where they all went to space to, to save him. Yes, and the crossover between Fairly Odd Parents was also very, very hype. Was very strong. I'd say I'll that put it on brings B. it up. Yeah, I was literally going to go for a B. Dude, true we're in that. sync. We're in sync. True man. that. We're in sync. Now South we have Park. we have South Park here now. Um, now that I think about it, I don't really know why I put this in here. I mean, it was South Park was the show that you watched because you couldn't watch it. Yeah, and like half the jokes you didn't even understand when you were a kid. But it was like, it was like a big deal when your parents would be like. Or when one of your friends would be like, oh, your oh, your parents let you watch South Park? He's like, yeah, dude, I watch South Park all the time. So can I be honest with you, Ted? Do you never watch it? I've I've not seen a single episode. Really? A show. You haven't seen I've a never single episode? Seen, maybe a scene or two on YouTube or TikTok or something, but I have not watched an episode to completion in my entire 23 years on this planet. Okay, so then this will be funny then. Based on what you've heard through the grapevine, I'm not going to put any sort of, I'm not going to put my opinion in here at all to determine this rating. Just based on what you've heard. What do you think it should, where do you think it should go? Fuck, D? I don't know. All right. I That's, don't know. Are you sure? Just, just, for, I don't, I, I, no, I'm not sure about that one. This is the <laughs> least confident I've ever been in rating a show. I've never seen it. All right. So Schlatt rates South Park a D. No, I don't. I, you did. You, you, you said just D. put those, no, okay. Fuck you, Ted. <laughs> Fuck you, Ted. Have a fucking spine. You're the one who watched it. This is just the way the news goes, baby. Oh, my God. Dexter's Laboratory. Dexter was a fucking weirdo. De Dexter is Jimmy Neutron for sociopaths. Dude, it's like when, once we speed it up, our, like, our opinions, like we just started hating things. Dexter, um, no. Dexter is, is what psychopaths watched, and Jimmy Neutron was, is what normal kids watched. There's two shows about two smart kids, and if you watch Dexter over Jimmy Neutron, you're going to fucking kill someone probably. Interesting. D. Omelette du fromage. D. Maybe even F. Really? Maybe even F. Did you watch it at all? Yes. You, okay. F? All right. iCarly. iCarly is fucking good. iCarly is a good show. Probably my favorite live action. Probably iCarly was favorite. a good show. Was a bit... I mean, this was getting to the point... Once you get into iCarly, it gets to a point where Dan Schneider's creepiness, though took a like a hike upwards like it took a spike yeah. upwards well um, mm, more than drake and josh though i wouldn't say it was that far above drake and josh there was an episode where drake and josh and all the characters in the episode dipped their toes in pee what? and that was the whole episode oh you don't remember that no i don't remember that at all lizard pee i'm pretty sure they they there was a whole episode about them dipping their toes in pee and then there was a victorious episode about all the characters dipping their toes in these little dry skin eating uh, fish that made them violently ill afterwards. But I could never had a dip my toes in anything episode. I, th I, they had a yeah. crazy toes like bit though on their web oh, show. That's oh, true. Nice. They did. Yeah, it's they, hard, it's going to be hard to avoid. A we can't, Schneider we can't listen. Show. Yeah. We can't have this conversation about Dan Schneider shows because they're all fucking weird. Yeah. Uh, yeah. On average though, I Carly, honestly, man, kind of hyped me up to be a YouTuber a little bit. Really? Yeah. I liked the idea of going live and like having people watch me. And right. then that whole Fred thing. Remember when they had a, the fight with Fred and Fred was like, all drama is good for you. And I was like, oh, this <laughs> motherfucker. Was... <laughs> Do you remember that? I was like, I... holy shit, this Fred motherfucker knows what's up. Dude. <laughs> yeah. And, and the thing is, too, it was like, they. one of the things about these shows is that they always had the kids in these families always had these remarkable lofts. Yes. Where like, was that money coming from? Where was it coming from? Exactly. It was like, I mean, I think I, I think Carly's dad like was in the Navy or something. Was like a like a like an officer in the <laughs> that's Navy not paying. or something like that's that. That's not paying for you for a Seattle loft with a yeah, private I elevator. Mean, I mean, yeah, Tucker, what, what, what are we talking here in terms of salaries for for 
higher level officers in the fucking Navy? Do you have an idea? Um, probably 60 to 80 grand. Depends how high. Yeah, no. 80 grand is not no. covering the that's, fucking loft in that's a Seattle. Studio. That's a studio in Seattle. And her adult brother doesn't work. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and he's an artist, too. He's an artist yeah. that he, he barely works. They had an elevator in their apartment. Fucked up. Fucked Jeez. up. Unrealistic. But it was a great show, and I Probably. recently watched it back, and I basically remembered the plot of every single episode, despite really? not having watched it in 10 years. Like, that's how iconic most of the episodes of this show were. All right. So maybe an A, are we thinking? A. I think this All is an right. A for me. A. Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. That's the next one we got. Dude, musty. I'm sorry. It was musty. A little musty. A little, it's musty. a little musty. I'd throw it. I'd probably, you know, I'd probably throw it either C or D. I would put C. I'll put yeah. C because there were some, you know, it was very, it was the, the characters were like pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, definitely a, a thick layer of dust on that show. Yeah. You know? Yeah. All right. Uh, we got Sweet Life of Zach and Cody. This is a classic. I mean, nope. this is a classic. Don't care. It's not. Oh, it's not a classic. No, I don't. I don't give a shit about this show. And the really? doorman. The doorman killed somebody in a drunk driving accident. In real life, or are we yeah, in real life, Mr. Show? Mosby killed a man. Shouldn't do that. Shouldn't do that. Should sweet not do life that. Of Zach and Cody. Also, they had that whole sweet life on deck sweepstakes thing. Remember that? There was like drama yeah. behind that uh -huh. where like nobody won or it was like a weird thing. Fucked Sorry. up. Sorry, Zach and Cody. Fucked up. Not it's a fan F. of Zach and Cody. It's an F. Not a fan of Zach or Cody. Um, the next one that we have is Clarence. Now, you were the one who wanted me to add this in, and I have never seen this show before, so I actually Good. have no... I don't, I, don't, I've got, what, what, I don't even know what the fuck this is. <laughs> Good. I, would, I will mush this motherfucker. I will mush him. I will I mean, grab him. on the thumbnail I will thing. Grab him by his stupid shaped head and mush his eyeballs in with my thumb and move them around a little bit <laughs> so that he can't see anymore. To make Fuck room, Clarence. To make room for the venomous snakes you'll be inserting into the cavity of his eyeball. Fuck Clarence and fuck that square-headed best friend of his. Fuck him. Slam poetry, what you're saying right now. I've got no fucking idea, but I imagine fuck this, kid's, this kid's got to be a fucking F. insane racist F. bastard. Okay. Terrible. Yeah. Boom. Clarence is racist. F. Back um, to the barnyard, baby. So, Let's fucking go. <laughs> no, hold on. So Woo! The next, the Otis. Show that, the show that we have now is Back to the Barnyard. It is a Nickelodeon show that was based off of the movie. I believe the movie was the movie was the original. Yes. It was the Barnyard movie, um, which had one of the most badass scenes in cinema, in my opinion, where uncle or the dad, Ben, the, the, the dad cow, was playing the guitar before he fought the wolves. And he was saying, he was singing, I Won't Back Down by Tom Petty. Yeah. And then Classic. he was, yeah, it was, I mean, it was one of the most badass scenes I've ever seen in my entire childhood life. Um, the show was weird and looked bad. And there was that yeah. fucking, that, fu there was that weird rat thing wombat or whatever with the crazy eyes that oh, had the right. same energy as sheen from jimmy neutron oh but my like god way i worse. fucking forgot about that thing and he would come out of nowhere yeah and he was like always had his arms up like this and he was uh, he was uh, raising my arms with claw hands and he's like like yeah i didn't like I him no you're right and you I'd know what tucker low i'd rate this d i agree and tucker did also bring up a good point with like when the movie's get an animated show usually there's a step down in that quality yeah sorry barnyard d tucker how do you think we're doing so far what do you think of these ratings you got some controversial ones on there already oh yeah, yeah what you're... do you think is the most controversial right now adventure time to... probably at c i, I think most I people have would have put you. that as probably yeah. an s or an a sorry and didn't I, watch it and i know for a fact that carl jacobs is a big fan of adventure time and i have a feeling that he's gonna fucking come parachuting down PUBG style into one of our apartments very soon. I, I just I just felt like it, I felt like Adventure Time you need to watch all of them, do you not? 
I felt like I'd tune into an Adventure Time episode and it's like a big ask. Some shit I didn't watch from like three seasons ago was being talked about or like right. had context to this episode. All these all the shows that I liked could absolutely positively stand on their own in any episode because that's what cartoons are man you just put on cartoon network i'm not trying to a lot follow. Of these how many seasons operate. how many seasons were up where it was adventure time 10 10 yeah there's 10? almost how many episodes almost 300 300 <laughs> episodes of this and i have to follow the story there was it's also pretty a lot of depth. lore too there was a yeah. lot of lore as too well. much like, I didn't even watch the entirety of Adventure Time, but I did fall into a YouTube hole where I was like watching lore expl explanation videos of Adventure Time shit where there was like an island that they lived on and like the planet of Ooh, and it got destroyed by nukes or something. And then like yeah. we were wa we're know. watching the whole shit series right now, Emma and I. Yeah. And it dude, the other night we were watching it and it got really deep, like way deeper than I realized that show went. And did that make you uncomfortable? Did that make no? You I mad? loved it, dude. I've been itching for more. I had to put like my normal series, like adult shows, on hold to get. So Tucker, um, is it true that you have to kind of follow along with the whole? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. It's just, it's like a a show show. It's not yeah. like a cartoon. I mean, yeah, that's I would, just not what I, I want would, in a cartoon. I would play some respect and put it up to a B. No, no, no. Okay, no. audio listeners, video seers. Love you to death. Uh, I mean, you know, video watchers less so, but you know, my hands are tied here, guys. I'm sorry. I would put it up to a B. I know that there's so C. many of you out there that want it to be an S and are fucking yeah. foaming at the mouth like a rabid dog. Sorry, um, but it's just not how I enjoy cartoons. And you know what? what? I, I think say, that's a very respectable position to have. Mm -hmm. I think that the next one, Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide. No. Whoa, whoa, you're shaking no. your head right now. No, no, Dude, I'm sorry. I was ready for this to be all right because you don't like the in person. This wasn't this wasn't a sitcom though. This was like sort of a oh, people are gonna be pissed that we didn't add Malcolm in the Middle on here. Never watched it. I, the, Malcolm in the Middle would be high if we had it on here. Yeah, um, that's S tier. Yeah, I would say Ned's, I would put it A. I put it A. No, 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 there's no way it even rivals iCarly. Dude, I'm sorry. I, Maybe it's just because I don't like the IRL stuff, but the, but especially Ned's and Big Time Rush are absurd if you watch those again. You watch that and you're like, how fucking stupid do, and scatterbrained do, do you have to be to what's enjoy this highest, episode? Uh, okay, what's the highest that I can put this where you're not going to lose? C? C? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But oh. you watch that shit, it's like there's like... They're edited. The editors do like ten lines of coke before they edit it. It's so absurd, dude. When you you'll have someone walk up to 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 Ned or Cookie or any of these people, and they'll yeah. have like a they'll have like a tires a, a car race sound effect. Ah! Hey everybody, beep beep, and then like and then there's like a whip crack. It's ridiculous. They're true. edited like true. like the editors just do lines of coke before it. It's insane watching it's them like again. They do not like hold up. Guava juice video. Same with Big Time Rush. Same with Big Time Rush. It's absurd. It's absurd. Okay, so should we rate these both at the same time then? And you so you want to throw Ned's Declassified at C? I'd like it to be at least. A, I feel like it's a top tier, but you're saying it's a bottom. Um, I say it's mid. It's mid. I, I, if you want to put it at B, that's fine. But then I I would feel bad if ned's was above big time rush because at least big time rush made some songs mm. if you want to put them both at b i'm fine with that all right i'll put big time uh where is it big time rush is failed to be on here my bad it's on there it's on b2 Fair. as well there's a lot that we're <laughs> missing from this list um all right so I, I kind of want to jump around a little bit from this okay. rather than go in order just because there's some stuff that I want to talk about that I feel like need to be said. Sure. Recess. The show Recess. In my humble opinion, Recess is an S tier. What the fuck is Recess, dude? You never watched Recess? Talk about no, I don't even here. know what it is. Yeah, I watched I Recess, but I recess felt is. I didn't see, like, that was almost before my time. I caught the tail end of it, but I, I was never old enough to truly appreciate it. Damn. Ted, are you, how much older are you than me? I don't even know what Recess is. This is, this is painful. How old this, are you? This hurts. How old I'm, are you? I'm 24. 
You're a year older than me. What is recess? Well, you, I'm, I'm like a, I'm like, you just turned. Yeah, that yeah. that shows aired like, in '97. Like, I've got to be, I've got to be like 17 months older than you or something like that. Okay. Maybe in that 17, that was that 17 months was when was the, the last maybe, time that maybe. they had it <laughs> before you discovered the TV. <laughs> okay, I mean, you know. I'll put you can put it at S. I don't yes, I've never watched it, so I cannot it. I, I cannot show. tell you. I love that show. Is do you have one on here that you wanna you wanna tackle that you that you feel Any, strongly about? Is there one I'd like to graduate immediately to S? Is that yeah. the question? Yeah. Hmm. Ooh. It's gotta be courage. Courage? Yes. It's gotta be yes. courage a cowardly dog. Yes. Tucker, you back that up? We gotta uh, confirm that. Well, I was too scared to watch that show, so Dude, yeah, dude, it. it was scary. There, it was there scary. There is, there is even that layer of of mustiness to courage, but the 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 material of the show itself and like how fucking wacky and and crazy and scary at times that show is is just fantastic. Unlike any other cartoon. Yeah, yeah, no, I agree. It did have that mustiness, even like even the the mustiness. It, you know, if it existed in different spots too. You, you know. The mustiness is everywhere in that show, like where there's that fucking scary scene where there's that ghost out in the field, and he's like, yeah. "What did he say?" He was like, "Turn back," or like, or like, "Don't," or the tablet. Something I probably about the put tablet. that shit on mute, dude. <laughs> I, it, it was actually legitimately he, terrifying. At the times. dog had fucking full on teeth, and one of them had a <laughs> hole in it. <laughs> and then sometimes you just go, <laughs> "Muriel," <laughs> and then the, and then the the the. the Eustace was just a fucking animal abuser. Just, just beat the shit out of courage, like, <laughs> just an insane show. An insane show. Super dog. A fucking ball in the middle of nowhere. Yep. Yeah. That, no. That, good show though. That Great ghost show. scene. The ghost is uh, like three D animation, like Jimmy Neutron. Yeah. But the rest of the show is two D. I think. Yeah. It had that sort of mixed mixed media inclusion there that was really good. Um, I would place Kim Possible at an A. I was not a Kim Possible head. I uh, I didn't even watch it. I'm not gonna lie to you. I just thought the show was so cool. I she was like was... a secret agent. I- I'm getting the vibe that you like the secret agent stuff because you you wanted to put Codename Kids Next Door up there too. Well, I guess you just fucking know everything these days, asshole. Okay, I guess I you got I, me I, down pat. You got Look, me down. You can put pat. it. Put it wherever you want. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna have an opinion on the show. How I could did you not, not watch. think that that was cool though? Like a spy stuff. That shit was so badass when you were a kid. Okay. The kid's head was twelve feet long and one inch tall. <laughs> Scared me. Brains don't work like what that. What you just described would have been worse, by the way. Is is yes. twelve feet wide, long? Are you kidding me? That'd be terrifying. <laughs> dude would be, dude would rotate and it would fucking knock knock the whole fucking he'd be city like, in half. He'd be like Bubble Bass <laughs> from SpongeBob. Surely, surely, in terms of its history and its its you know cultural impact, SpongeBob mm. gotta be ass. Dude, don't don't. What are you doing? What are you doing? Don't make that face. You're making like a. You're making like you. Oh, you've got some plan to make some crazy argument. You don't. No, don't, 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 don't be sniffing your mustache and and and, and fucking with your eyebrows. <laughs> I shouldn't have suggested it. God. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. SpongeBob S. Okay. Not good. even an argument. Yeah, you Not even an argument. Me. You scared me. Oh Maybe A on some episodes, but S for most of them. Yes. I feel like I want to go through these S's. I feel like it's really, like, I. I believe that. I'll, I'll just tell you what some S's that I'm, I'm looking at right now. I believe Teen uh-huh. Titans, the original Teen Titans, S. Mm. And maybe it's because of that spy lover of me and loving those, yes. those fucking teams and the badass shit. I love the badass shit. I was definitely, always a fan of that. Definitely my favorite badass show. Not Kim Possible, not Codename. This, is, this has got to be up there for, original for my favorite. Original Teen Titans yeah. is yeah. an ass. However, I, Teen Titans Go, I think it's funny, but I think that it's like... The fact that they just changed yeah. it to that type of show just rubs me the wrong way. This is for those of you who don't know, Teen if you watch Teen Titans but didn't watch Teen Titans Go, they brought back Teen Titans but made them like cartoony and sort of put more of a focus on like the comedy of the show and yes. stuff. And it was like I mean, there is a really, really funny 
clip from the movie. They did a Teen Titans Go movie. And at the end of it, like Robin mm. jumps at the fucking yeah. screen and he's like, hey, kids, ask your parents where babies come from. And then that's how it ends, <laughs> which I thought was fucking awesome. Um, but just because of respect to the original show, I'd have to put this at a B or maybe even a C. So I'm not going to lie to you. I would not put original Teen Titans at S. Really? But because of where the others, because of where the others are, I think it's a fair rating because it was my favorite out of them. So we could leave that at S. Teen Titans Go, I think, gets more hate than it should. Is definitely a departure from the original, yeah. but and and also Cartoon Network did kind of drill it into all of our minds because it's all they play and it's all they have played for a decade straight now. Yeah, yeah, they did play it for a long fucking time. I'd be happy with C or B because I did enjoy the really? the show. Okay. I did enjoy the show. I really okay. did. I think we can settle on a B there. Okay. Now, I've got I've got an S and an F in my opinion right now for two different ones. But I'll start okay. with the F. All right, Johnny Test F. In my opinion, an that F is show crazy to me, Ted, that I you are saying that about Johnny Test and I all the Johnny other Test. gadget and spy shows are up at Dude, A or S for I, you. Tell I, me what is going on here. It's a bit I, of cognitive okay. dissonance. I will break it down Barney style for you. Okay, sure. and that's make when it you real know cut I'm and serious. dry. Make, I'll make it, it real cut, cut and dry, dry because I'm not and I'm not goosing to do anything else. You little crumb lad. I'm goosing um, to hear it. Johnny Test. I was so bothered by, okay? You've got the dog with the crazy fucking chin. And Dookie. he drank martinis like a fucking weirdo creep. Dookie. You've Dookie. Got, you've got, like, you've Dookie. got <laughs> the dad that makes <laughs> meatloaf, that makes meatloaf, and it's like, Every time he pulls out the meatloaf, it's like he's never good at making food, and he pulls out the meatloaf, and they play fart sounds. Like the usage of sound effects <laughs> was so was so egregious in this show, it bothered Dookie. me as a kid. It how do you even watch? How can you say that if you wanted to put Ned's at A? I'm pulling Ned's down to fucking D. Okay, <laughs> now <laughs> I th there was just I hated the like you know. Respect to the voice actor who ever played Johnny, but I just really didn't like the the sound of Johnny's voice. It really <laughs> bothered me. Christ. I didn't like the sound of his voice. It wow. the, the show, I like, I don't know why I have a, such a strong opinion about it, but it was just I thought it I don't know. It just wasn't satisfying for me. And and it's different than some of these other shows where it's like spy stuff, where it's like, I feel like Kim Possible and Teen Titans, it's like the animation is good to make the cool there. This one was sort of like, let's mix, let's mix the fart sounds and the slap gagginess with like, I don't know. And then he would always like yell, he was bad as guy. Dude, I fucking hate Johnny Test. I just simply don't feel the same way. All right. I simply don't piece. feel the same way. I was a big Johnny Tester. I was a Johnny testicle back in the day. <laughs> right? I love this. I love this dude, wacky hair. Dude, that's so awesome. You just pulled that out of nowhere. That's awesome. You're a Johnny testicle. Oh, I was a big fan of Dookie. Dude, Dookie. <laughs> Dookie. Because he's poop. Yeah, no, because he's a dog and he poops. Dookie. Now hold on. Let me tell you the craziest episode that they did was that they played a hypnosis tape to that fucking Chad guy while he slept every night yeah, to try and get him to love the sisters, and then it exploded on his head, and it almost fucking killed him. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Oh, dude. Oh, there were so many classic episodes. I don't know. I just, I really enjoyed it. It was just a very easily digestible show for me. Um, but uh, I'm not so what would you like, I'm it? sure if I watched it again, it would be shit. And I'd be like, why did I enjoy this? But the one thing I'll get that, that I think still holds up bling bling boy is a fucking beast. I fucking bling, bling love boy? that. What do you mean? Bling bling boy. What is that? What do you mean? Question. Why are you phrase that like a well, question? I'm, you don't know who Bling Bling Boy is? I've seen this show. Like, what, what is Bling Bling Boy? You're putting Johnny Tested F. You don't know who Bling Bling Boy is? Bling He's the main boy. villain in the entire show, Ted. Okay, well, I just you even look watch at him. it. I just, He's like well, short, no, I, fat. I, he has like a hair part like Dwight Schrute. He's huge freckles. chain with a oh, B on oh, it. Oh, did he have braces? Yeah. I think I know what you're looking. He oh, did not yeah. have braces. Yeah, no, fuck that guy. 
What do oh you mean, my fuck god! That, that, the, the best character in the entire show, besides Dookie. You know, you know what Bling Bling Boy looks like. He looks like uh, he looks like a TikTok that I sent to Tucker the other, uh, literally yesterday, where it was this kid smelling fragrances. He was a mm. fragrance boy. Mm. Um, yeah, no, Bling Bling Boy. I remember now is part of the reason I don't like Johnny Test. He sucked too. Uh, uh, Fuck Bling Bling Boy. Bling Bling Boy's the best. What are I you don't talking? Like he lives on an island. He's absolutely filthy rich. I aspired to be like Bling Bling Boy, and, and I'm you, getting closer and closer every day. I'm getting richer and fatter. Why don't you dress up for him for Halloween if you love him so much? Maybe I, maybe I will. Maybe I will, you know? Maybe I will. If you don't show up to the Chuckle Sandwich Halloween episode dressed as Bling Bling Boy, I'm going to throw a fit. Johnny Test, not F, gets at least one step up for Bling Bling Boy. Okay, so... So what would you say his rating is then? D for Dookie. D for Dookie. Okay, I'll be Still fine. Still enjoyable for, though. I'd, I'd be it's fine. It's like with really D for shitty dookie. food, dude. It's like the it's like the sugar cookies with the fucking thick icing on them. They feel like shit when you're when you're eating them, but God, they oh, taste the ones so good. That, the ones that are like are <laughs> half sugar, half dust. Yes. Yeah. No, those are those are fucking good, and they sell them everywhere. Where do they make them? Oh, everywhere, dude. There's got to be. There's got to be one. There's got to be one company that makes all those sugar cookies that are, are they taste like a cloud. They do. They're great. They're great. Um, but you feel so bad eating them, don't you? You do. You do, because yeah. you can inhale them. They're yeah. inhalable. They are an mm -hmm. inhalable cookie. I feel like that's the same way I, I kind of treat Johnny Test. Tastes so good. But yeah, you're like, damn, I'm really watching Johnny Test right now. Yeah, you're inhaling those Johnny Testicles. Yeah. Dookie. <laughs> um... <laughs> All right, fine. D, Johnny Test D. I'm mad. I'm mad about it. I'm gonna let you know. I'm mad about come that, on, bro. Come on, bro. You're not gonna budge on an F for Johnny Test. I won't come on you, the bro. The dog's name is Dookie. Changing the tune. Dookie. There's some tension here. I can feel it. Yeah. <laughs> As you say, Dookie. Remember how I say you focus on a word and then you keep <laughs> you keep saying it? he's like Don't forgotten care. Dookie. all of English except for the word Dookie. <laughs> Dookie. <laughs> Um, uh, now on the other side of the other side of the page, uh -huh. Ben 10 S and okay. This is another sci-fi show, Ted. So I'm seeing where your, where your biases are. Yeah. You probably really like Danny. Right. Phantom like too. the other popular sci-fi shows, SpongeBob, Courage, the Cowardly, Cowardly Dog and Recess. Dude, you put, you put. Codename Kids Next Door, Kim Possible, Teen Titans up there. I just I saw that one Jimmy coming. Jimmy Neutron lower, though. I saw that one coming, dude. I saw that one coming. Dude, Dookie. Ben 10 was fucking Dookie. awesome. Ben 10 was cool, but is it an S show? Probably not compared to Courage and SpongeBob and Chowder. God knows who the fuck Recess is. Probably A. The Omnitrix was fucking cool, but Ben was racist against some of them. He wouldn't even pick them. It wasn't racist. It's xenophobic. Similarly awful quality to have in a cartoon character. You got to watch full of a, a broad spectrum of characters, and you don't. You only picked a strong big guy. That is true. But eventually, he like had so many more. There was this one point where like he had that big one, the one that was the size of a skyscraper. Yeah. There was the Dude. one that was like the genius that had like yeah. a shit ton of IQ. You're right. Like there was, it was. The the scale of the show was like infinite, and it was also like Ben one hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was because he started off with ten, and then he was like, "Oh wait, I can have more?" Question mark. Yeah. Um, one thing I thought was really, and that I think would make it stronger, is that it had like sort. Of, there was this one scene in the show that had a sort of fourth wall break that I thought was really funny, where he opens his drawer and he's getting dressed one morning. He opens his drawer, and all of his clothing is on one side, it's just all the black and white shirts. And then on the, <laughs> uh, on the other side, all his fucking green cargo yep. pants. And I thought, yep. and I rem still remember that. And I thought that was such a funny thing. Um, but I mean, you know, I'm coming in with an S. I feel like, you know, if we want to blow through these, you know, we could, I'll have my rating, you have your rating. I guess we average them. All right, that's fair. Look, I, I pulled you up from Johnny Tess on an F. So if you're really feeling strongly about Ben 10 being an S, that's fine. I'm not going to pull you down to. I'm just okay. saying Ben was a terrible kid. He had insane biases. And was he ever a girl? What? Was Ben ever any of the girl monsters? 
He probably hated women. I guess mm, I it's interesting because I wonder I do wonder actually about that. Like if he's it, when he's changing. Well, hold on. Is gender really a factor when you're changing into an entirely different alien, like a different species? Don't know. Are we going into this right now? Are we nope, diving into we're the not, into the we're not. into the <laughs> We're talking about Family Guy now. <laughs> <laughs> family Guy. I don't know. I don't fucking know about Family Guy. I mean, let family me just a... let me just level with you. Sorry, I, I level interrupted with me, please. you. Please. Whatever we put Family Guy at, American Dad must be higher. One tier higher. All right. I'm fair with that. I'm fair with that. That didn't make sense. I am okay with that. I think American that Dad is just it's just better family guy, more focused family guy, better characters. There's no cutaways, yeah. so there's more plot, there's more meat and potatoes to it. Yeah. I I think that I think yeah, you're right. I cuz it's like they had the same sort of setup and they had the talking stuff, but they all had like more I don't know. I enjoyed them more. Like I didn't li like with Family Guy, it's like they just shit on Meg all the time whereas like the, the I forget who the daughter and in American Dad is, but like I feel like she had a little bit more going on in her life. Yeah. Well, they shit then, on the son in this one. Oh yeah, but like he also had like more of a personality than Chris. Like Chris was just kind of like stupid, and then yep. Meg was just like the the fucking punching bag daughter. Yep. That they hated, and then you know they have a fucking and also the fact that they have a fucking alien and he's the, in the CIA. Yeah. That's so funny. Roger's I, awesome. And then the fucking German fish. Yeah, I don't know. It's a good. Klaus. It's a good show. And also, I, uh, yeah. Yeah. I put Family Guy at either C or B because it still has its moments, but yeah. American Dad's got to be higher. Yeah. All right. So we put, we put Family Guy at C and we're putting American Dad at B. Fair enough. There we go. All right. So we've got, we've got about like, oh my God, we've got about like 15 more. And we've been going for a fucking hour and 13 minutes. Yeah. Holy shit. Let's hurry it up. Let's we, hurry it let's up. Let's just speed bang, it up. We, we have to bang through the... I didn't know that we'd be talking about this for this long. I thought it'd be more cut and dry, man, but it wasn't. Not, not very cut and dry, dude. Let's speed Remember run this when, shit. Remember when we were preparing for this, you were like, yeah, we don't have enough. <laughs> well, there's just... There's a lot I want to talk about. Yeah. Like, it's all a, these shows... It'd be, feel weird to not have, like, yeah. fucking you know danny phantom in here or regular show or any of these speaking of regular show regular show uh this is kind of a mid show to me I, it wasn't like i never watched it too much i think this was kind of yeah. You know, when this show came out i was kind of weaning off of cartoons in general i was like starting yeah. to watch youtube and shit so right. like all these later on shows don't really resonate with me as much and so what do you think yeah c probably for me really Okay. Yeah, or maybe I B. Be, I mean, there's some funny episodes. It got very, very strange and unique at that times. Yeah, they actually there was a lot of creativity in that show. I'd probably put that at, at like a B because it was like yeah. it was such a show about like nothing, and then they made it like every episode about this. I honestly would put. I really, I thought it was a really creative show. Like you know, you had Skips who comes in. It's a fucking gorilla man that Skips, <laughs> and then like, and there's always like these ridiculous storylines of like oh you fucked this up and it's like in the, like they just choose a category like they could just be talking about like roofing for an episode and it's like oh you upset the roof gods and then there's like this whole fucking insane <laughs> like storyline or bound that i probably put it at an a i mean i feel like that show was really good i'm pulling it down so all right i mean do you think it's an s tier because it's the only way i'll pick it com for compromise i'll just put it at a b then all right penguins of madagascar <sighs> what do you think you know, logically, it probably should go lower, but my heart wants it to be S because of the penguin that doesn't know how to speak. <laughs> Rico. <laughs> I love that penguin. Uh, uh, this is the one of the few and examples. I've been, that, I've been saying that since early times in my videos because I talked about a Madagascar knockoff, and I said the specific line, I've always had a particular love for the penguin that doesn't know how to speak. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the particular few examples of when the movie comes out and then the show is like just as good yeah i love yeah. the penguins because they were I such a penguins. strong group yeah you they know, just like, worked bro yeah it was and you know maybe it's because i have an affinity for spy things once again maybe it's going <laughs> up there now that i think about it 
<laughs> I, at so, least at least B, but my heart says A for for I'll, me. I'll do I'll do A. I think that's right. good. Um, I we think can speed run of, through a bunch. Okay, of these we'll we're gonna I do not feel strongly these. about many. Okay, Lizzie McGuire, fucking D. I don't really don't watch care, that show don't that care, much. Don't care, never watch. Hannah Montana, same shit. That's so Raven, D. same shit, not D. good. So we just put Lizzie McGuire, Hannah Montana, and that's so Raven and D. This girl might, shows. You know, sorry, I'm sorry, girls. Now this is may look actually bad that we're doing this. <laughs> this is Dookie. I will. I, you know what? I have to put Hannah Montana at a C. I feel like I did watch that show and I and enjoyed it at times. Fair. Um, but, yeah. Um, Wizards of Waverly Place, another one I did not watch. Not. I thought that show was too confusing. I thought it was They strange. were wizards. So, Ted, you're more of the sci-fi guy. I understand. You don't understand no, no, magic. I thought, I no, mean, no. You need, you need logical shows with <laughs> teenage spies and gadgets no, and gizmos. Like and the magic just... You just logical. don't understand magic. So, I mean, <laughs> My, I understand I why you want to put it in F. Can, have, but, I mean, maybe okay. C or D for wizards. You can't say that I'm basing my ratings on logic when you, I put... A fucking kid that has a watch that lets him turn into a billion aliens at a gadgets and gizmos. Gadgets and gizmos. That's some Reddit. Just, that's some Reddit r slash futurism r slash technology shit. That's not magic. That's not occult. You just don't like them. Just say it, Ted. You don't like wizards. Put them at F. Fine. Wizards of Waverly Place at F. Rugrats. Never watched it. Scared me. Musty. F. Okay, so D because I have like I I'll put it somewhere, but you had it so strongly that I I, I like Red Light Racks. I thought it was a no, good show, but no. so that's making me put it in the L D zone. Little now, before my time. Now the Wild Thornberries, I would put that at least a C or higher. Mm -hmm. I mean, the Wild Thornberries was great. Never watched it. Okay, so we're putting the C. Oh my God, we're gonna get torn to shreds. We are going to be. The, the, you remember how we were talking about like the what happens to the witches in Salem? It's gonna be. It's <laughs> gonna be uh, the the chortlers are gonna be yeah. fucking. My God, it's gonna look like a fucking medieval. It's gonna look like, you know, Paris during the revolution. Hey, this one's um, easy. Tom and Jerry for me loved that show, it, especially the first episodes. That's an S for me. Don't know how you feel about it though. I would, you know, a bit repetitive. I will say, he, what, what's the deal here? <laughs> Like, why can't this fucking cat catch this mouse? I mean, they're like, do they are they friends or like what is this? It's quite literally a game of cat and mouse that they're playing. Yes, and is it a is it a love story? I don't know. But Dude, give it an S just for Francois. Who she pussy cat? Yep. Who she? Yep. S. Fair or, exactly. Okay, victorious. I've just heard bad things about Victoria Justice. You have what? I've heard that she sucks. Is that? Oh. Am I just speaking out into the void, or is this just a vibe I got? I don't know much. I don't know much. Uh, she, Dan Schneider main characters are just generally not good people. I don't know if you're talking about the show or real life, but her character in Victorious was not strong. She was very much propped up by the other ones, similar to iCarly, too. Mm -hmm. um, and for that I, reason, we must give them a... Three, two, one, C. B. B. I liked it more uh, than Drake right. and Josh, but less than I, Carly. That's All that's right. my rating. B, that's fair. Also, there was a, <laughs> it was fucking hilarious to me how there's a YouTuber named Quentin Reviews mm -hmm. who made a video essay about Victorious oh. that. Wasn't it like eight hours long? It was eight hours long, which is longer than the runtime of the show. What? So the dude, yeah, the dude spent more time. Talking about, yeah, about the show about than the Victorious show than the show actually was on for. You could have watched the entirety of Victorious. That's instead. awesome. That's I just, awesome. I just the um, the amount of of mental fortitude it takes to make an eight hour Dude. eight hour essay on that Quinn. I hats off to you, brother. I don't know how the fuck you did that. Good. Yeah, I mean, seriously. And was it edited or was it just a live yeah. stream? Yeah, no, it was edited. It was edited. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah. Wow. How many right. fucking pages in a Google Doc is that going to take? That is insane. All right. the, yeah, it got to be like a fucking book. Yeah. Jesus. Um, we got seven more. Hmm. Our final ones we have is Phineas and Ferb, Danny Phantom, Camp Laszlo, Pokemon, 
Star Wars Clone Wars, Total Drama Island, and Fairly Odd Parents. Now, Total Drama Island gets a lot of good rap these days, but I feel yeah. like back in the day it wasn't as like I don't remember it being it being that good. Like it was just a you know it was a it was a reality TV show, but in a cartoon form. It was a little weird in that regard, but I don't know. It's I thought like that's what made it unique for me. Yeah, it but it was like a good show and like it was. Ah. And, and look, I love the and I love the fact that the main host guy was just like, "Hey, let's just make fun of Ryan Seacrest for a fucking entire <laughs> TV show." Now, Total Drama Island is the one cartoon that I think I actually cared about the overarching plot because really? it was literally like Survivor. Like you had right. to watch all of it. You had to start at season at episode it was one. A good show. You had to follow it through to the end. So it was it was a. great. Yeah. I, I would I would vouch for an S, but if you're not feeling an S, then then that's fine too. But every single character was so well it's fleshed just that I'm out feeling too. Like it's more of an A than an S, but that's I, fair. it's like hmm. the chef, the chef. Yeah. Oh my god! Even even the fucking side characters were were fantastic, man. Yeah. No, it was a good show. I definitely will say. out there. Fairly Odd Parents is another. It's another. Uh, you know. It's an easy, easy B or A for me. It wasn't S tier, though. Mm -hmm. Dude, did you hear about... I read about this recently. There was an episode of the show where, like, I don't know what the context was, but somehow Timmy was in court, and, like, he revealed... Yeah, he, or was it recently? I don't even know, but he revealed that, like, he had wished that he would stay young forever... And so he would never lose his fairly odd parents and that no one would remember like and his, you know, the fairies didn't remember it. Fucked yeah. up shit. That's like fucked up. like timeline exploding information being coming out of fairly, mm -hmm. fairly odd parents. But I don't know. This show, I mean, the show's been just around for a, a long time. Yeah. I mean, weird focus on negativity towards dentists. I mean, I'm sure the dentists aren't True. huge fans of the show. Also, we uh, got to talk about this, Ted. We have to talk about how it kind of fell off the rails at the end with Once the fucking poof. what with poof like yeah, it was just poof. not a good character i didn't like poof also wanda was fucking wandissimo behind cosmos back the whole time what? that just was fucked up i don't know about dude this. What? what do you mean you don't know about this whenever well, wandissimo this showed like, up this wanda would like be like later show wandissimo she was in love with him and they were in a relationship and that's just not what you should be promoting to children it's not. It's not. You should never try that. B. Are you guys familiar with the reboot that just came out? Oh. Okay. Oh, I, mean, I, was, I, was, I oh. thought of that and then I lost I lost it in my head. Yeah. No. Um I think even I'd put this at C just because of the how tarnished the brand has become because of that show. And for those of you who don't know about this, the fairly odd parents, I don't know who the fuck thought this was a good idea. They made a sitcom, live action sitcom with fucking uh, Space Jam fucking putting the the cartoon in it. But it's like the uh, the epitome of what you were saying earlier, Macromedia Flash tweening, like the animation of the Fairly Odd Parents is so fucking weird. It's like Paramount was like, hey, let's just take the name and the general theme of these characters and then beat it into a fucking pulp until there's nothing redeemable left. I can't help but agree with you. I think you make a really good point, and I I, I'd be like more than comfortable with C. C. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Clone Wars, I put it pretty high. I put it Never watched. A. Never watched. It was really, really good, and and the thing is, is like, um, they, they had something new recently, but whatever the, the... Tucker might be able to help me out with this, but the guy that made the Star Wars The Clone Wars, like, I'm 90% sure, somebody was telling me about this where it was like, Oh, I for, I'm forgetting what I'm talking about right now. But the guy that made the Clone Wars, like he just is like an expert on fucking Star Wars shit, and like is just so good at that stuff. Tucker, can you help me out here? <laughs> uh, can you say what what were you saying? The the guy who made the Clone Wars, like he's just really he knows his Star Wars shit. Oh, Dave Filoni, I think it is. Yeah, yeah Dave. He, he's really on top. He, I think he's still involved in the whole Star Wars universe. Which yeah, might like say he, good or bad. I'm things pretty about sure him. he knows Star Wars better than fucking George Lucas. Yeah, he's like, he's like, like the main creative lead behind everything they're building off of these days. Yeah. So 
and it was just, I don't know. It was just really good. I put it at least an A. That's fair. I've never okay watched it. I've, I have no opinion on it. Pokemon? I never watched it. I mean, how many times I are we going to... I never gonna... watched it. I never You're... watched it. Here, here's my question for you. How many times are we going to like talk about how much we love these fucking animals that we throw into a ring and make fight each other? That's fucked up. There's no, that's there's no love up. there. There's no love there. No, that's a little fucked up. There's no love there. C. That's fair. I, I don't know. Tucker, I, are you okay? Uh, I know you're a big Pokemon fan. Uh, like, Well, please. Johto, Kanto Johto, I'm all in, but everything after that can go to hell. Fuck yeah. All right. All right, the last three: Phineas and Ferb, uh, Danny Phantom. Danny Phantom, I would put high. I'd throw that, you know, I'd throw that at least a B. I wasn't right. a Phantomer. I wasn't a Phantomer. I, I, I'd be comfortable with a C or a B, but okay. it's not something I feel too strongly on. Okay, I put it at a B. I think okay. that was like, I, you know, that's that's in the same. I think it's the same animation category as like the same guy who invented fairly odd parents but i think danny phantom aged way better than fairly odd parents did in, in, yeah. its, in its run yeah um, you're right you're right also like that dude is apparently like a dick that who made oh i believe it i Bert, believe it what's his name butch 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 Hart, hartman Hart, butch hartman yeah yeah butch hartman yeah i've heard some stuff about him more like bitch hartman i'm Ooh. sorry um Phineas? Phineas and Ferb. I'd place it high just because I like the creator so much. Like I seen on TikTok, he just seems like such a good guy. Nope. Nope. That's not nope. why. That's not why for you, Ted. It's because fucking Perry and Dr. Doofenshmirtz are fucking gearheads. They're gearheads oh, and they got gadgets and gizmos. Gadgets and gizmos, Ted. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got you on. right where I want you. <laughs> no, 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 man. Come on. Uh-huh, on, uh-huh, it's because I like uh-huh. the creator so much. It's and Doofenshmirtz like Schmerz would always mention the tri-state area. I loved him for that. New York, come on, that's yeah, going to bring your rating up no, a little bit. I, I liked Phineas and Ferb. I'm, I'm just, I'm just pointing oh, out your you bullshit see, uh, bias uh, because it's with gadgets and gizmos, and that's why you like it. Well, what's your bias? B. Oh, okay. B. Yeah. All right. And finally, somehow we left this until the end. This is a weird <laughs> one to leave until the end. Um, oh, man. I like uh, Camp Laszlo. It's I a like fu- Camp Laszlo. Dude, it's it a cozy like... show. It's a cozy, cozy show. It's like yeah. a bedtime show you watch right before you go to bed. I put this up at B or A, maybe. I'd be comfortable with the B. A would That's be fair. almost, I don't know too, almost too much of it to, to warrant. Like, I forget so much about that show. Yeah, to me too. go beyond a B. But yeah. what do you think? Are you comfortable with B? I'm comfy with the B. Okay. I did forget a lot. All I remember is that Camp Lazo was just good vibes, and it was a very it it was very comfortable to right. watch for me at least. Now before we end here, I have, and obviously we put Mr. Meaty Scott. If you look at this right here, just throw Mr. Meaty an F for us real quick. Uh-huh. But. I have to make an argument for this final one. And, you know, this is, you could say this is sort of in the gizmo zone or whatever, but, you know, Mm -hmm. I'm just a, I'm a, I'm a sucker for this show. I love this show. Yeah. Samurai Jack, I think, is an S. You can put him at S. I've never watched Samurai Jack. Samurai Jack is an, I just feel like is, is a really, really good show. I've always liked it. It also had a really good flash game on cartoonnetwork.com where you had to, where you were jumping up a fair thing and you had to fight up, up, uh, a coup, a poo, a coup. I think it was a coup at the end, not the fucking Simpsons character. Um, Is that a gadgets? It's gadgets and gizmos for Samurai yeah, Jack. I mean, uh, yes, technically it is because it's yeah. about a it's about a samurai that was fighting this evil spirit that uh, was then cast off into the future in which this evil spirit had taken over the world, and he has to fight mm-hmm. a lot of futuristic stuff. So yeah, no, it is sci fi. Yeah. Yeah. That that is your bias for this chart. Now I'm trying to think what mine would be. Like what what do I enjoy the most out of cartoons? Given my S ratings of Chowder, Courage, Tom and Jerry, uh Scooby Doo. Here's what I'll say. Yeah. I know exactly what it is. You know my bias? Okay. Your bias is slapstick. 
That's why you like yeah, Johnny right. Test so much. You're right. That's why you you're fucking. Right. <laughs> that's why you were had a a, yep. a slight feeling of love towards the barnyard show. Yep, yep, yep. No, that's that is actually an astute observation. And to this day, holy fuck, that's very wise of you, Ted. Thank you. Very Thank wise. You. To this day, I mean, you know, I love my physical comedy and like you slapstick do. bits you and do. shit. So you're a fan of slapstick. Very fair. Very fair. I'll give I you mean, that who one. else would who else would buy a bunch of sugar glass bottles to uh, for a Jenga stream, right? No, I, <laughs> I mean real bottle, bottles, real bottles. That they were real. Are, they were, they real. were real, and, and I could smash them over Ludwig's head. There was five concussions that happened in the yeah. Hundred Thieves uh, Cash App compound. Yeah, and um, Nate shot paid for all the all the suits to be settled. He did so. he, he paid for the he paid for the medical yeah. bills, and Thanks, we Nate thank Schott. him for that. Thank you so much, Nate yeah. Shot, for paying for those. Because uh, we know that Schlatt would not. So thank you guys so much for listening to this episode of Chuckle Sandwich. Um, are you hearing teeth grinding right now? Is that just me? Teeth are grinding? You, are you hearing this, like the ambient sound of teeth grinding? Oh, that must be the comment section who is very right, pissed right. off at us. But are we are not watching. You. We're not looking yeah. at any of them, actually. Yeah. And if you're yeah. listening to this on good old Monday, audio listeners love you to death. Hope you're not, I don't know, on your way to work and screaming into the traffic. Uh, but yeah, thanks so much. Make sure to suggest down below any other suggestions you guys have for topics you want us to cover on the Chuckle Sandwich podcast. And Shalad, you got anything else to say? Dude. Dookie. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Dookie. <laughs> <laughs> Dookie. Bye. <laughs> See ya. Don't. Bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>